Hi there, this is Charlie and in this video I'm going to show you how to set up your MailChimp account to bring a new user on who can work with you or your business uh, and help you manage your MailChimp account. The reasons you might want to do this is uh, you might have someone who's just analysing reports for you and you need to give them access to your reports. They might be uh, setting up templates or campaigns or automations for you, but you want to be able to approve them. They might be sending campaigns and or automations on your behalf and you just want them to have to log in and do that straight up. Or uh, you might want them to be able to uh, manage the account a little bit further. So what I'm going to do here is show you how you can do that uh, without the, you know, having to give them your username and log in to do so. So the first thing you'll see is when you log into your MailChimp account, what you need to do is your dashboard. That's what's on the screen in front of us here. The next thing you'll need to do is go and find where to add your users. So the way you do that is up here on the right hand side where uh, you've got your name and username up here. My mouse is over it. Click on that and come down to account. This will give you all of your billing details to begin with. Go to the settings submenu under where your username is. Go to your settings submenu or your account name actually and click on the users tab there or users option. You will see uh, when you do that you've got your user listed here, who you are and what level you are. And then across here on the right hand side you've got invite a user. Now you may also have other information on this screen that will come clear in a couple of minutes as to what that might be. But let's look at this invite a user button here. Click on that. I'm just going to scroll the screen down so everything's on the screen uh, so we can see all this. There we go. Put in their uh, email address. In this case I'm actually going to be blocking this out so um, you can't see who I'm inviting. Uh, make sure it is a full email address though. Uh, under the user type uh, you select what type of access they need whether that's a viewer, an author, a manager or an admin. A viewer can access reports, author can uh, see the reports but they can create and edit campaigns, templates, templates, templates and automations but they can't send them on your behalf. Uh, you need to log in and approve them and send them. A manager can do all of that uh, except they can't see billing add-ons, user management and list exports and an admin has all the same rights that you have on your account. Uh, so, so think about what level you want to give uh, this person carefully and then allocate it. In this case I'm going to make them a manager. The message from you, uh, it, it's a default message that goes out, join our MailChimp account, but you can add your own custom message there. I'm going to leave it as default. Finally down here under I'm not a robot, make sure you click that, that just says that you're not, not a robot, that you are actually human and then click on send invite. It'll take a couple of seconds and the screen will refresh. At the top here in the green bar it says who you've invited and what level you've invited them at and then down under pending inv invitations you'll have who it is, uh, what, their, uh, what the progress is, is on it and finally on the right hand side you can resend the uh, invitation or you can cancel it. Once they've accepted that they will appear up here in users and you will have who they are. Uh, and you will also have a revoke access button. Now you'll see it's not active for me because I own this account so I can't revoke my own access through this screen but you will be able to for other people. Uh, you should also be able to access what level or sorry edit what level you've brought them in at. Um, just say you've got someone you've brought in as a, as a um, a viewer only and you want to upgrade them to something else, use the edit button to do that. The only thing that uh, you do need to know is that the person you're inviting does need to have a MailChimp account. That's fine, they can sign up as they go through the process of accepting your invitation. There's no cost to them of course because MailChimp has a free, free tier uh, and then they'll be able to when they log into their account choose which of their client accounts or which of the accounts they collaborate on that they wish to access. And that's it, that's as hard as it is to add a user to MailChimp. 
If you've got any questions, make sure you leave them below or head across to my website. It's listed here on the video. And have a great day. Bye.